Hey guys, so um, yeah, I thought I'll just film clips here and there rather than just like really. I want to do like really raw videos where you like see my personality, see what I'm doing, see what I'm up to, what's going on. And um, I don't really do like lifestyle videos or like everyday vlogs just because I feel like I'm doing so much, like I'm doing so much work, but it's all like boring stuff that you don't really want to see. And if I'm doing fun things, I kind of don't want to vlog because I want to enjoy the moment and be in the moment. And plus, I love watching these kind of videos. Like if I'm doing the dishes, if I'm doing the housework, I love to put these kind of videos on and then just watch them and enjoy them kind of thing instead of having tv because i prefer this kind of stuff let me get comfortable ah, do you like my plan i actually just watered them because i've been around if you guys follow me on my snapchat you know i was doing some classes about like business and stuff like that just brushing up on like the legal side of things because i think that's very important i'm wearing the nabila b salmon cap um I love them I really love them and I just don't get to wear them that often because I'm always indoors so if I'm going outdoors I throw them on because I love them so much okay now I'm comfortable it's actually really warm today but yes yeah, so um let's just get this a little bit down so yeah um I have been struggling with hijab and um for a while like i still don't know why i am but i have like a few ideas as to why and everything and just the general thing um this is a really really hard subject and i kind of don't know how to talk about it and i think that's fine i think it's nice to sometimes just sit down and just have very raw videos that haven't been extremely planned and where you're a little bit more vulnerable and all that kind of stuff but yeah i've been struggling with hijab and i for a while like i did i didn't know why and i mean alhamdulillah my faith is quite strong you know my relationship with god and everything is something very personal and it's not stuff i talk about i don't really talk about religion much i post stuff up on like instagram and snapchat not as much mainly instagram um you know but i i don't really sit down and talk about it much because i feel like there are people who can speak about matters and speak about subjects a lot better than i can and i feel like you know if you want a religious video go listen to a chef because nobody can put it better than them it's kind of how i feel and then me and adush we did um we did a live yesterday on instagram and we talked about lots of different stuff and about hijab and everything obviously it's a very personal matter and we answered some of your questions about it um you know i feel like i i personally do believe it's fun it's something that you should definitely wear obviously everybody has their own everybody's on their own journey i think that's so important to remember like i had one question yesterday where people were like what do you think of people that are part-timers what do you think of people that don't wear it what do you think of people that don't wear it properly and my answer to all of that is everybody's on their own path everybody's on their own journey somebody may not be practicing today may not be dressing modestly but then tomorrow they could be extremely religious and better than a lot of other muslims so you never know how somebody's life may turn around and it could go the complete opposite somebody could be really pious very modest and then they could take their hijab off or you know whatever for their own reasons and you know allah chooses he just chooses it you know he chooses who he wants to be on the right path and everything and it is definitely a constant battle in anything when it comes to anything especially with religion it's something very personal everybody is on their own journey and um with me personally i think it was like and you know if you're a part-timer then that's amazing because you're taking steps forward to wearing hijab um so you know i don't have an issue with how anybody dresses or how anybody wears hijab or anything i'm nobody to judge anybody and 
no one else should be anybody to judge anybody else how i see it you know um like we spoke another thing about like um you know people that criticize leave hate um there's different types of hate there's plain hate where people are just plain stupid and um just leave stupid things on the internet i'm not talking about that i'm talking about people who are trying to give constructive criticism but maybe in the wrong way and i think that's so important about the way you approach somebody like for example if you if you have a friend i'm gonna give this as an example because i think this is the best example and um you know if you have a friend who's struggling with hijab or um yeah so somebody who's struggling with hijab you're not gonna be like oh you this you that so shameful you're not even wearing hijab properly like you're not gonna say that you're gonna be really encouraging you're gonna be very positive because being positive is so important you're gonna be like you know what i'm here for you i'm you know if you need anything ask me and you know you're gonna do it in a private space you're not gonna do it in the middle of town with a bunch of people standing there listening and watching so i think that's you, you kind of have to, um, I feel like people don't base like the whole YouTube life and everything to real life, but it is, we're all, what's going on in this car? Here it is. We're all human beings, we're all, um, we all have feelings, you know, and we want to be treated nicely, of course, and I think that's something people forget, and I know too many girls that have taken their hijabs off because of hate, because of stuff people have said online to them and it hasn't been nice um, or it's been very horrible and I think that's so important because do you want to be judged, you know, at the end and do you want to have that huge responsibility of I made that person take the, their hijab off and sometimes even stop following Islam because I wasn't supportive because of something I said no you don't want to like that's very scary like if I ever made anybody take their hijab off I will be so scared and really upset because that's not what Islam's about Islam is supposed to be something very easy it's, a bit, it's supposed to be easy as in you can easily apply it to your everyday life you know, it's like the five prayers, they were made for us and we don't have 50, like, you know, or, or 10, anything like that. Because, you know, it, it, might, it would have been too much for us, so we were blessed to have five because it was something that was supposed to be easy and easy to apply every, you know, to our everyday lives. Um, so that's kind of how I see everything else as well within Islam it's supposed to be easy don't make it difficult for yourself I've heard so many scholars say that as well and it's true like when you take everything with comfort it's so much easier to do and if you're positive about it it's so much easier to do and if you have somebody so supportive it's so much easier to do and um you know like it's it's so important about the way you come across on social media i think it's really wrong about how people come forward with it and it's really nasty and mean and i don't think it should be like that if you have something to say message me privately or whoever you're messaging because when you message privately and you message in a positive nice way and you approach the person you know with like you're genuinely wanting to give good feedback good advice then i love that you know like for example if i'm eating something and somebody messages me on like i'm eating something on instagram whatever like what was i having the other day i can't remember what i was eating but somebody messaged me and was like oh you know there's this e number and that's like pork rennet or something and i was like oh my god thank you so much for letting me know because i had no idea and i'm now not gonna eat it i'm not gonna have it I can't believe, I can't remember for the life of me what it was but it was something that I would have never imagined it to have that but I was like thank you now I know I can't remember what it was right now but when I see the product I will remember kind of thing I'll be like oh that girl messaged me and said it has that in there so I'm not gonna get it and it's the same thing like that was so nice to know whereas if somebody was like oh my god that's haram don't eat it why are you eating it or oh my god why are you having those i would have been like 
I don't want to talk to you, block, I would have probably blocked the person without even knowing the reason or without even thinking they're being serious because they're being so negative and like such a mean person. So that's the same with hijab. Don't be like, oh my God, why are you wearing it so wrong? My response to that would be like, okay, do you want me to take it off? Is that going to make you happy? You know, I'm struggling. A lot of people are struggling. So, um, like, even if they're not struggling with hijab, maybe the way they wear it, the way they dress, all that kind of stuff, they're struggling with that. Maybe they're struggling with something else and it's not hijab. Do you know what I mean? So, I think it's so important to come across positive and nice and, you know, speak to people as if, that that's your sister or your brother, you know, it's a family member, like be really nice or even a friend, like, because that's what we are trying to be, like, you know, we're, we're being, we're being friendly, we're trying to be your friends, um, you know, that kind of stuff, like, so be nice back, I think is so important, but yeah, back to me struggling with hijab, I think it's like the fact that I, I am so happy, I, like alhamdulillah like how the fashion world has taken hijab it's amazing mark jacobs did a whole thing of like everybody being super modest which was so amazing um i mean he did say he was inspired by kate moss which i was a bit like okay she wore a turban once but come on like anyway that's a whole other discussion but let me show you because i actually really want to show you guys this picture like this one How amazing is that? So amazing. And then, you know, um, Halima Aiden, who uh, is a model now, a hijabi model. I love it because she's keeping it so modest. She's keeping it, it's really cool. It's high fashion, but she's still sticking within her boundaries, which is amazing. And I think it's so beautiful what she's doing. It's re And it's so amazing that, you know, they've embraced it and they're embracing hijabis, even if it is more, from a consumer point of view but to be honest a lot of people talk about that and they're like oh you know they're only doing it because there's so many muslims and there's money to make and stuff but then there's money to make in everything and anything really and at the end of the day we want to buy stuff so it's even better that it's available to us but yeah so but at this so all that is happening it's so amazing you know i started youtube because i wanted to inspire other muslims and other people who want to wear hijab or want to wear scarves and turbans i want to know how to do it and be comfortable in themselves and wearing it and stuff you know that's my whole thing that's why i started it's why i still do all of this but at the same time i feel like some people well actually there's a lot of people who are taking it okay not a lot there's some people who are taking it as a huge fashion statement and i'm I would never sit down and talk about this stuff, but I feel like if I'm struggling and I was somebody who was 100, but like I still am, I wouldn't take the hijab off, inshallah. But at the same time, it's like I'm struggling with it and somebody who was so comfortable in hijab and like could never think of anything else, I'm struggling then. And I get so many of you guys messaging me that you're struggling. I know it's a huge, huge issue kind of thing. So... That's kind of why I wanted to do it because I know I'm not the only one thinking that and I feel like you know my friends are so supportive mashallah like Nadia gave me such an amazing um to like she just spoke to me and she gave me amazing amazing advice and stuff and kind of reminded me why I'm wearing the hijab and you know it's a thing between me and God and I think that's what people forget and I feel like because of this whole fashion hijabi fashion thing it, it kind of sometimes things do get blurred and you forget why you're wearing it and i think you just have to constantly remind yourself why you are wearing it and i also feel like i kind of did start struggling because so many people were like oh you know you're wearing it wrong and stuff but then i was just thinking about it today and i had to remind myself that actually i'm on my own path i'm wearing the hijab alhamdulillah and actually i am very happy with it and i'm so blessed alhamdulillah to be following this amazing religion and yeah so people are just taking it from such like they're just making it a fashion accessory and stuff and i think we do have to remember why we're wearing it and stuff and i think people just need to be a lot more positive because it's it's such a deep thing you know we want to be beautiful we want to be comfortable we want to 
you know hijabis go through so much and we want to be accepted that's one of the biggest things um, I feel like wearing the hijab in the West for me personally is very easy Alhamdulillah like I don't struggle with that um, as in like being in the West or anything but nonetheless sometimes I feel like you go you go up and down with it you know it's just like I don't have like a reason as to why I'm feeling like this and I feel like that's also why I maybe I sat down and filmed this video because I'm trying to better myself and I'm trying to wear hijab no I'm not trying to wear hijab I'm trying to be comfortable in wearing the hijab again and be super confident in it like so yeah um you know i wear the turban because that's just my my journey that's what i'm comfortable with i'd rather do that than take it off you know um and i think people need to um they need to respect that i think that's very important um they need to respect people's beliefs like yesterday one of the comments was oh you know you're not wear you're not wearing hijab properly which um i completely understand but then it's like okay so what style would i wear that makes it the real way because in reality every country in the world every culture in the world wears hijab differently so if you look at the Turkish style then you compare it to the Malaysian style two completely hugely different things then compare it to India completely different compare it to Saudi even more different compare it to North Africa completely different once again so you know it I feel like there really isn't a right or wrong as long as you're being modest and you feel like it's right what you're doing. Um, I think I think that's what it is. I mean, this I'm just like, I wanted to do a really quick video, but it's ended up being quite long. But I think that's fine because it is such a such a huge, huge topic. And I'm really glad that I actually came and sat down and spoke about this because it's made me feel a lot better because obviously all of this has been in my head and um, kind of getting it out there just makes you feel better. It's like when you talk to somebody about it and I've been thinking about it for a while now. So it's nice to just get it out there. It's made me feel a lot better. Also, I feel like another reason, another big reason for me struggling in it is because of the amount of time and effort that goes into me putting my these outfits together, putting hijabs together and then like you know i'll do a turban style and then all those comments would be in the back of my head and it makes me feel uncomfortable but then if i'm wearing a hijab style i feel like it's forced i think that's the main main issue for me is it's like am i like am i wearing this hijab style because i'm wearing it for allah and i'm wearing it for myself or am i wearing it for those people that have commented stuff I think that's the biggest thing like today I wore my hijab this style because I was like you know what I want to wear it like this today not because somebody said something not because I feel like I'm obliged to but because I want to you know I hope you guys take something from this and start a discussion at the bottom in the comments below because I really want to speak to you guys about this I really really want to get deep like what are ins your insecurities what are you struggling with I will get back to every comment under this video I promise you that um, because this is such a it's such a close topic to me right now and I just want to talk to you guys about it I know so many of you are struggling with it as well just like I said my tips for wearing hijab has always been remember you're doing it for Allah remember you're doing it for yourself if you are struggling because you are around non-muslims you will get even more reward for doing it because it's your struggle it's your form of jihad don't forget that you know as women you know we got this amazing responsibility in a way to represent islam so beautifully and you know let's live up to it let's live up to the expectations let's be amazing supporting women and girls of each other and people as well like come on guys we need to be so much more supportive of each other we need to be nicer the muslim online muslim community needs to become stronger we need to be so strong you know these are very hard times right now and we need to be united i think that's so important last little thing that i quickly wanted to add was as much as i'm here to inspire you guys to wear the hijab and be modest and just be a muslim blogger out there 
to help you or just inspire you or just make your day better or whatever your reasons are for watching me is that this actually helps me like being on youtube as much as i'm inspiring you guys this inspires me to be a better person it inspires me to wear the hijab and um it's made my journey so much better so much easier i've, I've because of youtube because of being you know an influencer and a blogger it's made me go out there research more about islam research more about hijab i've learned so much being on youtube than i think i could have ever learned you know i've done so much research because of it which i feel like i never would have um so that's another little thing that i wanted to add that you guys really inspire me and um thank you to all of you amazing people that support me and you know you guys just are so amazing thank you so much for all the love and the support i love you guys so much bye